Welcome back to another video. My name is Will and in this video I'm going to talk about slow motion ramping. It adds an extra level of professionalism instead of just straight cutting to slow motion. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do it. All right, with Premiere Pro open, I have a clip here of me skateboarding from the summer. This clip was filmed at 120 frames a second, so that means it's five times slower than real time. Knowing the frames per second your footage was filmed at is important because it allows you to calculate how much slower your footage is playing from real time. And now that we know the frame rate the footage was shot at and the playback speed, let's then talk about ramping your footage. In our sequence, if you look at the top left hand corner of our footage, you'll see that there's a little symbol that says FX on it. So if you right click that, and then right now it's currently set to opacity by default. Let's go ahead and change that to time remapping and then click on speed. And then now we have our line here that represents the time remapping for this clip. Right now we haven't done anything so the clip will play back in the same speed. Let's zoom in a bit. And if you hover your mouse over the time remapping line, you'll see that it says time remapping speed and it's currently set to 100%. If we increase this to 500%, like we were talking about before, which would be five times speed, then that would make our footage play back in real time. So let's undo. So now we're back at 100%. And in the same way, let's say we slow it down to 50%, our footage will play back even slower. And if we weren't doing any speed ramping on this clip, then doing it this way is the same as if you were to right click and go to speed duration and then change the speed up here. But since we are gonna talk about speed ramping, let's go to cancel and undo so we're back at 100%. So if you hold control on the PC or command on the Mac and then hover the mouse over the line, you'll see that the symbol changes to this little plus symbol. That means when you click, it'll add an adjustment point and on the right side, you'll be able to adjust the time remapping differently than on the left side. On the left side, let's go to regular speed, which is 500%. Hover your mouse once again over the adjustment point and then click and drag. And then now we have footage at the beginning that's 500% speed. And then there's a straight line that goes all the way down to our 100% speed. You need to see this little tiny blue symbol in the middle. And if you're not seeing it, it's because you haven't selected one of the left or right sides of your adjustment point. So if you grab the top or bottom and then click and drag to the left or right, you'll see that it starts to ramp the footage. So now we have a smooth, smooth ramp that goes all the way from 500% to 100%. So let's play that back. And now let's adjust it so that it starts right when I start to pop the trick. So let's speed up the transition just a little bit. And then we'll time it a little better so that the slow-mo happens as I pop instead of just before. Okay, that's looking great. Now let's say we just wanted to have it slow motion just for a sec during the flip. And then right when it lands, that's when it goes back up to 100% speed. You hold Command on the Mac or Control on the PC, click, and then split the clip. And then on the right side, increase it to 500%. Then click one of the points to smooth it off a little bit. All right, let's view that. Okay, so that is how you use the time remapping features inside Premiere Pro to get slow motion ramped footage. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload, and we'll see you next time.